Hi, I'm Barry with BDH Belts, and I came today to show you some easy ways to keep your car wash up and running smoothly with no downtime. V-belts are a great thing, a great invention. They have a lot of torque. They're pretty inexpensive, and they run a lot of equipment, and they're great until they break, and they all break, they all snap. We developed Dora Drive, which is our green link V-belt, and to take the place of a standard V-belt, an endless V-belt, the beauty of the Link V-Belt is you're fitting the belt to the drive and not the drive to the belt. So you can make up long belts, short belts, any size you want out of a given length of this belt. Let me show you how it's done. This is, a, this is an A section, a half inch wide belt. It's a 10 foot pack that we sell at uh, CleanRight. Take it out of the pack and you want to assemble it on, say this is a little test rig that we have. And, uh, how it goes on is simply you uh, wrap it around the pulleys if you can. You figure out where you want to attach it. You go as far back as you can until you hit the tab. Take it apart. You twist it back on itself. Take the tab, twist that, and then that. Okay. We're going to take a length of belt and you can fit it to the, the pulley. It goes around, flip this. And when you have the right size, it's gonna be a little short. You wanna make it about an inch short or one length for every two feet. And here's how you wanna put it back together. I'm right-handed, so I'm turning this around. This tab will fit in the place where there's two links being held. And that will go this way up through, you twist it. Then you back, pull it back, twist the link or the arrowhead, and pull it up through and even it out and pull a little tight. Then you turn the belt inside out the way it's gonna go. Set it on, in this case, any of the pulleys, but one of the smaller pulleys, and then you just spit it in the shiv of the larger pulley, turn it by hand, and it's on easy. If you have two shivs like we have here, you want to make sure you can just walk it right over on one side and then you'll walk it over again on the other side and then you put your other belt again around it. If you want to make two belts for a dual drive or more than that, you just take the belt, hold it up and you can measure it but if you go down link per link They'll come out the same, and if they don't, like this one didn't, I just take one tab off, now it's the same. Put this belt on, and we'll put both of them on. And I'll move it over. Again, you don't want to do this with a standard belt, you break the cords in it, but this is the way this belt goes. All you're really doing when you stretch the belt, and you want to make sure it's nice and tight, is you're just resetting all these little links. When we make the belt in our factory, we let we pre-tension it, so really you don't have to. We pre-tension it for at a high tension for many hours and it sits there. And then you don't have to tension the belt when you get it. And this again goes right over, turn it, it'll fall in. And you have it. You want to run the belt in one direction and you want to pull the tabs this way. The belts are marked on the back. On, on each tab there's a, there's a small black line with a small arrow and that will show you the direction of travel of the belt. So when it's on you want to pull the tab. You put the belt together by hand. This is going to need to be stretched. You know it needs to have tension under it and so forth for a while but I can put it together for you. And again, it, it's, this is a bigger section. The small one we did a while ago was a half inch wide. This is 5 eighths. It's a B section belt. And again, it's a little harder because it's so, it's so big, but the same process applies. You turn them straight. All of our product that you see is available through CleanRight, either from their catalog or the internet. Just give them an order, give them a call, and they'll be out to you very quickly.